Would you like to send a follow-up email with a survey after you've made a sale on JotForm or maybe a donation or just someone that filled out your form? Well, that is possible with this automation that we're going to show you. So follow me to my desktop right now. Welcome to JotForm, my name is George, and today I'm going to show you how to automate the process of sending a survey after you've made a sale or a form submission on JotForm. That means that after you've made that sale, it's gonna send this survey after X amount of days that you said. So for this automation, we are going to use HubSpot. HubSpot is a really popular CRM with email marketing service integrated. Now be aware that to access the workflow on HubSpot, you have to be on the pro version. So let's get started by creating our first cell form. In this case, we are going to create a simple form just for demo purposes. Let's go into create a form. We're gonna start from scratch. We'll select classic form for this demo. Okay, we have our job form editor. Let's go into add some form elements. In this case, we are going to keep it simple. We are going to add the name, the address, sorry, the phone, and the email. So we're gonna ask for these fields and we are going to add a short text to simulate that we are using this as a sales form. So we are going to name it amount of sale. Okay, this is just for normal purposes. We're gonna use that field for that. But in this case, if you want to add, if you wanna make this a sales form or a donation form, you have to add a payment gateway element, okay? So we're good with the form. Let's just go ahead and name this a spot form or survey. Okay. No, actually it's one that's for sale. For sale. Okay. We're going to go into settings, integrations, and we are going to search for HubSpot. Okay. Here it is. We're going to select it. And in this case, we need to authenticate. That way it knows it can integrate one with another. So in this case, I am already logged into HubSpot, but if you are not logged in, you will have to log in before actually integrating. So now that I'm all logged in, I need to choose the account from my HubSpot. In this case, I only have one, but if you have several of these, you have to select the one that you want to use. So let's choose this account. There we go. So we are saying that we want to connect the app Okay, let's go and fill that out. Here we go, we are now integrated. So now it knows that it needs to send the email towards there. If we wanna add another field, for example, if we want to add the full name, we can add it to the name over here. So we're tying elements from dot form to HubSpot. And if we have more elements available that we want to integrate over there, for example, we are asking for the phone and we'll search for the phone number here and so on and so forth with the elements. Again, if you need to add other fields on HubSpot, you can go ahead and add them over there so you can tie them over here on JotForm. That way you are also adding your contacts to the CRM, your client relationship management system. Okay, so update if contact already exists, yes. So that means that if they fill out this form again and the data changes, it will update it. And that's really useful because if you are tying the fields for the phone, for the address and all of that. Well, it's updating those fields with the new data. So in this case, we are now integrated with HubSpot and it's gonna automatically send that data over there. Now, to actually trigger the automation to send out a server after X amount of days, we have to go into HubSpot. But before we do that, let's first test our integration. Make sure that our contact information is added on HubSpot. So let's go into publish open in a new tab, okay? And let's go into our HubSpot, let's go into our contact section, go into contacts, here it is, okay? These are the contacts that we have right now. Let's test this automation, make sure that it is, it's actually connecting. So let's fill out this form one time with demo data. So in this case, we're just gonna say Johnny Trabolta, and we'll just fill out any address here. We'll just say street, city, San Diego, California, 90210. And we'll just add a random phone number. The amount of sale, we're gonna say it's $50. Oh, my bad. Amount of sale, $50. And the email, we'll just say test at test 
Com. Let's go ahead and submit it. There we go. It's been submitted. Let's go into HubSpot and make sure that that contact has been added. So here we are. Let's go ahead and refresh. And here it is. Johnny Travolta at test, test at test.com is there. Here's the phone number, contact design, last activity, etc. Okay. So now we are sure that it's integrated. Now, to start off with the flow, what we want to do first is we want to create that survey that we're going to use when we send out that email. Remember when we make a sale or a donation or when someone submits the form, we want to trigger HubSpot to send an email after X amount of days. So we need to create that form first because we're gonna add that form link into our email. Okay, so let's go ahead and create the form. Again, we'll start from scratch. We'll, we'll actually select a template for this and survey templates. Um, you can go ahead and choose any of the templates that you want to use here in case you want to use a template. In this case, I will just use this template because this is just for demo purposes. And we're just gonna remove the employee thing. There we go, satisfaction survey. We are not gonna go into customizing this. We are just going to use this for demo purposes. So what we need here is the link from this survey. Here it is, copy link. And this is what we're going to use to use it on our email. Now we have both forms ready. We have our form that we're using, which is our sales form, donation, or whatever you want to use that form for. And now we have the survey that we want to send it after. Okay, so let's go into HubSpot. And for this automation, we're gonna go into the automation tab. See this menu here? We're gonna go into workflows and we're going to create a new workflow. Now, in this case, we are gonna start from a blank workflow. So let's go next. Here we go. Nothing is, is done right now. Now, the first thing that it's asking us is the trigger. What is going to trigger this automation? So what needs to happen? In this case, what we want it to happen is that when a contact is added into HubSpot, it's gonna trigger the automation. So let's set up the trigger. And in this case, we are going to select a life cycle. We are going to choose contact properties and we're going to choose life cycle. So here it is, I've searched for it, life cycle stage. So in this case, if is a new subscriber, we're gonna apply that filter. Here we go. We're gonna go ahead and save it. There we go. So the trigger is done. So when a new subscriber is added, it's going to trigger this. So that means that when the submission is performed on job form, it's gonna add automatically add a contact, which is a subscriber, okay? So let's go ahead and click on plus. And in this case, we want to add a delay. So we have this, these delay options and we're gonna set the delay for a set amount of time. You can also use the other ones, which is delay until a date or time, delay until event happens. So we're gonna set this one. And now it's going to ask us the amount of time you want to delay. Now this will vary depending on how, much, how many days or hours you want to set this. For example, you don't want to send out a survey right after you've made a sale or a donation on your job form. You wanna actually wait for the customer to test a product or see what they thought about the process of the purchase or the donation or the form submission. So in this case, if you are selling physical products on JotForm, well, you want to give them more days because, well, they have to wait to receive the product and actually test it. So if that was the case, I would say, for example, seven days, 14 days, um, whatever you want to set it for. And you have days, hours, and minutes to set this. So in this case, we'll set it to seven days. Okay, and now what do we want it to do after seven days? Well, we want to send out that email with the survey. So what we're going to do is search for send and we're gonna search send email, okay? You can also send internal email, send internal SMS in case you wanna be notified also of that survey. But in this case, we want to send the email, okay? So in this case, we want to create a new email. And in this case, the email name, I'll just say, we're gonna name this survey email. From name, which is the person who's going to receive the email needs to know where it's coming from. So in this case, it's me and I'll say Jorge Aguilar and from the address, and which emails do you have added on HubSpot? In this case, these are the emails that I have added. I'll use HubSpot email for this. The subscription type, marketing email. Subject line, in this case, I'm going to say, 
Okay, so we're asking, what did you think about our product in case it's a product, if it's a service, or if you're asking, how did you think, what did you think about the process of filling out the form in case it's not a donation form or a sales form, it's just a, a form for something else, like a form for filling out a free webinar, for example, which you don't charge anything, but you just want to know what did, what did he thought of the process of filling out that form. It could be for several reasons. And here is the body where we're going to add the information. So in this case, we're going to keep it really simple, but you can turn on the editor and add something really fancy with buttons and images and all of that. So we're going to say, fill out our form or actually survey. Okay, fill out our survey. And remember that link that we grabbed when we created the link? Well, we're gonna paste it here, okay? Remember, if you want to add a, a button or something like that, you can also do that. We can create this a insert a link. So if they click on it, there you go, they're gonna click on that. But I would suggest creating a nice template for this and making a button for that link, specific link, okay? So, okay, we're good to go. We're gonna choose a footer. I already have one created just for demo purposes, but if you need to create one, go into manage and you will need to refresh this to actually use that footer. So now I can save this email. So it's a pretty basic email just for testing purposes, okay? And we're gonna use the survey email. Let's go ahead and save this. And now the process is ready. So in this case, when a new contact is added, it's a new subscriber, it's gonna wait seven days and it's gonna send out this email and it's good to go. You can add filters in between in case you wanna send different type of emails. For example, if I go here and if I want to create a branch, so if then branch or value equals branch or go to other actions. So what does that mean? I can add two separate emails. So let's just say that if we want to send a different type of survey, well, we can do that based on this branch. We can set the branch, for example, to say, if the sale is over $100 or $1,000, where we want to send a different type of email. And that is possible using this conditions, which is a conditional logic for that. And it'll trigger a different email. So it's a like ramification of the different emails that you have available, all with these actions. You can do a whole lot with this automation. You just have to give it some time, set it up, and you're good to go. Once that is set up, you're good to go. And well, it's gonna be automatic. You don't have to do anything else. Now remember to review and publish. And if you needed to test it, that's also possible, okay? So here we go. This is what's going to happen. And what we have to do now is just set, do we want to enroll the contacts that we already have? Or yes, also enroll the new existing, existing contacts to this automation. So if yes, you wanna send out a survey to those existing contacts, you said yes. But if no, you just want to send this to the new contacts that you make a sale on drop form. Well, you said no, and then you turn it on. Here we go. We're good to go. It is now on and it's ready to work. If you need to send a test email, you can also do this there. So for example, I can choose the email where I want to send this test. In this case, this is just a test there. And I can go ahead and test it. That way we can make sure that this automation is working. Now be aware that we have a delay right here for seven days. And yes, that is inside the test. So if you want to make a test just to make sure that everything's working fine, you might want to just remove the delay for now, just for testing and then add it because then we have to wait seven days to receive that email. But basically that is it. That is how you integrate the process of making a form submission, either it's a sale, a donation, or whatever you want to use your form for. If it's, a, it's just a form submission, it's gonna trigger that automation to add the contact to HubSpot, and HubSpot is gonna do its magic with the automation workflow, sending that survey after X amount of days that you said. Well, there you go. That is our tutorial for today. We'll see you on our next videos.